Hello, friends, and welcome into the Cowboys Report. I am your host, Tom Downey. There is a lot to get to today. I don't know if you've been on Twitter at all, but we're melting down again because we're like in day five of the same reports going over, over, and over again. So I know you guys are talking about it in the comments section, and we'll get to the, to the Leo Collins contract details in a minute, but we've got to start with Zeke, right? For starters, what we do know, two things. The rest is all, no one knows anything. For the two things we know for sure, Zeke is coming back to Dallas, all right? He's flying home from Cabo. He's going to be in Dallas here. And the sides do want a deal done so Zeke can play in week one. Now, that's what we know. Now for what we don't know, because we got 18,000 different reporters and media outlets saying different things, and none of them actually fit together. Pro Football Talk says that they are close to a six-year, $90 million extension Although that was the old, I tweet this out, and then a minute later, actually, no, wait, they're not close. You know, because we're all just idiots right now, apparently. Now we got Ben Rogers of 105 Through the Fans saying a deal is done in principle. The contract terms are not yet known, but the deal is done in principle. It's going to happen. And then as of like, what, three minutes ago? Check my timestamp here. Four minutes ago. We got David Moore of the Dallas Morning News reporting, a deal is not done in principle, but Stephen Jones and Zeke's agent are going to meet tonight. So here's where we stand right now. We are in Schrodinger's contract extension still. We don't know. If the deal is somehow simultaneously done and also not done, it's insane. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills here because we got the same different worded tweet coming out from four different people all in the same hour and in the end we're kind of back where we were a week ago beyond the fact that Zeke is now back in Dallas but we're back where we were a week ago two weeks ago th three weeks ago optimistic a deal gets done but nobody knows we like if, if anyone is trying to say hey it's a done deal I don't believe him because it's not done yet if a deal were actually done in principle it'd be done like, I believe that the Zeke deal is close, but we played that game like four different times over the past 48 hours. Deal's close. Oh, no, wait. No, it's not. Deal's close again. Wait. No, it's not. It's annoying. It's dumb. I hate it. Everyone's getting played. It's stupid. And it almost feels like people trying to show that they have sources are jumping in. Oh, yeah, it's close. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Just It's just a stupid back and forth. It's annoying. So does the Zeke deal get done today? Type 1 for yes, type 0 for no. I officially believe that producer Brett Scott has jinxed it. And it's going to happen at 2 a.m. That's what's going to happen. And that's annoying. So I know everyone's confused about where we're at in terms of, okay, has it come? Has it happened? Has it not happened? I tried to put together a timeline over the past five days to help explain it. On Friday, we're getting close. Saturday, it's basically done. All right, this day's got to cross some I's, dots, and T's, you know? I intentionally botched that, by the way. Sunday, we're almost there. Yesterday, yeah, it's going to come soon, guys. There was just a, a monkey wrench got thrown into it, but it's almost there. And then today, it's done, but also it's not done. It's, it's Schrodinger's extension, where Zeke is both extended, but he's also not extended. It drives me insane. I feel like I've lost my mind. Wait, did I... Is, is this my personal hell? Am I dead? Is this some kind of drastic evil trick pulled on me where I'm actually dead and I'm just going to be stuck in this, you know, ebb and flow back and forth for months now of deals done, but also it's not. I feel like that's what that's where we're at. It's done. By the way, for those of you mentioning the press conferences tomorrow, no, it's act that's actually not, though. That's the thing. Uh, it, it's There is one, but it also isn't one. Uh, because there is going to be a press conference tomorrow. It's Jason Garrett's press conference. I know the one of our the fan headline said press conference scheduled, but it's actually not yet. It's not scheduled yet. There could be one. There might be one. I hope there's one. But there is no Jerry Jones, Zeke, Stephen Jones press conference scheduled. If you had clicked beyond the headline, which I know everyone did, and that's fine, because it's kind of a confusing article. If you look into the article, it says they can have a, a press conference then, and Zeke could be back on the field. The article itself says it could happen, potentially. Headline says it's done. That's where we're at. We're done and it also isn't done. It's so stupid. I'm tired of it. I can't stand it anymore. I feel like I've gone insane. 
Now again, I, I do want to emphasize here, just from the money side of it, I think in the end this deal is going to get done in terms of he, Zeke gets paid more per year than Gurley. He's going to get more than $14.5 million. I think that ends up being the number. But in the end, that doesn't really matter. It, it's all about the guaranteed money and the structure, which will break down how that matters, for example, for Leo Collins here. But the CBA, and we haven't really mentioned this too much because it's super complicated, the CBA, there, there is a unique quirk for this upcoming season. In the 2020 season, with the way that it's all set up, because you can use two franchise tags, in the end, it is the last year of the current CBA. Therefore, you cannot have more than a 30% increase in salary for that last year and subsequent years. Therefore, you can't backload the deal four years from now if it's like a six-year extension. You actually kind of have to front load it a little bit more than maybe you would. The Cowboys have gotten away with that by using option bonuses in addition to a signing bonus. That's been their main goal at, at this point. That does complicate things because it means you can't have only funny money at the end of the contract. You kind of have to space it out a little bit more than maybe you normally would. So just keep that in mind, even though it's it, there could be an uncapped year, the 30% rule kind of helps the NFL from stopping the Cowboys from doing what they did last time and giving Miles Austin all of his money at once. So again, for those of you just now tuning in, there is a report that a deal is in principle from 105 through the fan. That has been refuted by the Dallas Morning News because, again, the deal is both done and also not done at the same time, and it feels like I'm insane right now. I will make note, Stephen Jones and Zeke's agent are set to meet tonight. That one we do know, unless it's a, you know, Schrodinger's meeting where it exists on a different dimension or something. I don't know. It's, it, it's been weird, okay? So that's where we're at. A deal is not done yet, but we think it's close. Or it's not. No one really knows, and a lot of people in the media are clearly being outed for making it up or just going as they go and using different sources. It's all very, very clear. Now, the Cowboys running back depth chart. Again, this is where we currently sit. It's Tony Pollard right now. It's Alfred Morris right now. It's Jameez Olawali, Jordan Shun also on that roster. Zeke, for now, does not count. It does not count. Now, if and when he signs, they do have to replace him with somebody. Or, 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 or pull someone off the roster, I should say. I don't know if that's Jordan Sean, Morris, someone not at the running back spot. We'll find out. Now, I think we are all on the same page here. We just want the Zeke deal done, right? Like, that that's kind of what we want. We're, I, I'm tired of it. I assume most of you are tired of it. If I'm wrong, let me know. If, if you love this... Uh, let me know if you are tired of it, like the video, because that's where I am at. Let me see how many actually agree, because I just, I, I, I am so frustrated and, and tired with it, and it, it, it bothers me. It does, because we, we keep going back and forth. Frankly, what new information have we actually gotten over the past 48 hours? Zeke's coming back to, fr fr from Cabo, meeting with Stephen Jones and his agent tonight. That's really all we've got. Uh, it's close. That's been said 18 different times in 45 different ways. It's kind of frustrating and annoying, at least so far for me. So let me know what you guys think there. Like the video if you want the Zeke deal done already. All right, guys. Today's show is brought to you by our friends over at BetDSI. They're giving you a very rare and very limited time offer as well. They're just going to give you 25 free bucks to bet with. That's it. You don't have to put any money down. They're just going to give it to you. Free bet, free play. Go bet on the Cowboys versus the Giants. You'll make some money on top of it there. Free $25 bet. So try it out this week. And if you have fun, go ahead and deposit as well. That will get we'll also get you a 120% deposit bonus. But that free $25 bet, just use promo code BOYS25 at chatsports.com slash bet to get it in. Hey Cowboys fans, thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.